Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show how you can enable two-factor authentication onto any account of your uh, of your choice in Epic Games. So I'll show you how you can do this. So first of all, you're going to go open any browser that you're using. In my case, it's Brave. And I'm going to search for um, Epic Games Login. Once you click, once you search for that, you're going to click on to sign to your Epic Games account. And once you sign into your Epic Games, you're going to be greeted so you can log in. Once you log in with your Epic Games account, okay, you're going to be greeted, not this one, you're going to be greeted with this website, with this website page. You're going to navigate to the top right corner and then onto account. Once you navigate and click onto account, you're going to go all the way to something called password and security. Once you're, once you're in password and security, you're going to, to navigate all the way down to something called two-factor authentication. And you can actually use multiple uh, multiple ways to actually um, use the 2FA, basically use the third-party authentication app, which is basically downloading an app on your phone, maybe, for example, Google Authenticator, and, okay, and you're going to scan for your code. Once you scan for your code, and uh, there is going to be a security code that is going to show upon on your screen that you scanned with the QR code. Then you're going to put the security code over here and then you're going each and every time you want to log in with your account you need to um, uh, you need to open your authenticator app on your phone and write the code that refreshes each and every 15 or 30 seconds when you put that you're going to be able to sign in another way you can do with it is uh, 2FA is SMS authentication you're going to put your phone number and then you're going to verify it and each and every time uh, you want to log in into your um, epic account you're not going to, you have to just get a message on your a text onto your phone i do not recommend this one because you have to be in a place where there is cellular data which is not uh, which is not available everywhere so i recommend email authentication but mostly mostly i recommend third party authenticator app so yeah guys that was it for now thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah i'll see you later